Let's look at the ASEAN regional bloc as a whole here. The study and the writing of an ASEAN history is part of an overall strategy in promoting a cultivated understanding about Southeast Asia and helping to reduce lingering historical animosities among countries in this region. National history is one of the controversial tomic, topics rather, that undermine relationships among countries in Southeast Asia. And Dr. Martin Platt, a Thai studies professor from the University of Copenhagen, sees national history as the biggest challenge to regional integration. Well, I think in the past, say, 100 years or more, there's been so much emphasis on borders and borders as preventing contact. Um, you know, there's been border wars, there have been issues about trade and so on, um, and of course the migration of people and labor and a lot of, and even refugees and a lot of barriers to that. And so now we're looking at trying to do the opposite, take down those barriers, ignore those national borders. Um, I think that'll be quite difficult. And of course what goes along with that, cultural differences, religious differences, especially language differences. As an academic, Dr. Martin pointed out to the students that history is the dialogue between the past and the present, so he encourages students to understand contemporary culture through conversation in order to contemplate about the past. Um, well, I, one thing I, that we work on in the classroom and that I think can continue on here is the idea that there are national narratives of history and every country has their own a story they try to tell officially and it leaves out many uh, many voices many aspects of history that might be inconvenient or somehow don't fit in with that national history and so we try to look at some of these alternatives and then also uh, we have a project of oral history in which the students in groups go and interview people um, about their lives and then connect that with some of the greater context of history and I think that helps them to engage and see history not just as something that you read about in a book, facts and dates, but something that is lived by people and that those people experience and that we can learn about from them as well. While Bernice Huang, a history student from the National University of Singapore, commented that ASEAN history should be a compulsory course for students. The new generation should know more about Southeast Asia and this would help link ASEAN youths together and create a common awareness of their regional past. Well, um, the only most effective way I can think of is because in Singapore we have secondary one and two compulsory mm. history, right? Yeah. So we study, if I remember my syllabus back then, we what we studied in set one was um, the ancient Indian civilization, the ancient Chinese civilization. We studied all this and then after set two we went on to Singapore history. Yeah. So I was thinking instead of studying ancient Indian or ancient Chinese, oh. why not ancient Angkor? Uh -huh. Why not ancient um, Ayutthaya? You know, uh -huh. it, it, that would help to increase a very um, uh, ASEAN, more increase awareness of ASEAN. Students like Bernice represents keen young minds with hunger for the historical knowledge that would make them understand this region better and enhance their sense of regional entitlement through a common history. It would also provide them with an avenue to move away from the negative legacy of nationalistic pasts.